Alright, hey guys, Sunny here, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. And today, what I'm going to be doing is showing you all the best recording settings on OBS. And these are just the settings that I personally use and I think are really good. So, first thing that you want to do when you have OBS, if you've never used it or anything before, it'll be like a blank screen here for you. So, you just want to add a new scene, you just press that OK, and it will just come up with scene. I've already got it, so obviously, I don't need to do it. And then come over to sources, do the same thing, go plus, and press display capture. And that'll just make it so that when you're recording, it's like recording your whole screen there. Alright, uh, once you've done that, come over to settings, click on that. And the first thing that we're going to do is go to output. Now, I'm using this to record at the moment, so yeah, I can't do quite a few things while recording. But you're going to want to change output mode to advanced. So pretty much just copy what I've got here. Um, yeah, yours, yours will be different. I think it's just as non or normal or something. So just change that to advanced. Yeah, so once you've changed that to advanced, come over to recording. If it's standard mode and recording path, you're going to want to press browse and just put it to whatever folder you want. So for me, it's desktop. So I'll just click desktop when it came up. And that means when I'm finished recording a video, it just saves it straight to my desktop here. So this is this video at the moment, so when it's finished, that'll be this video. Yeah, so once you've done that, recording format, change that to MP4. Audio tracks, keep that on 1. Encoder, if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, you change it to NVEC H264. Otherwise, just keep it on the default one that's already on. I think it's like 8. H, I think it's just H264. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, Free scale output non in 20 by 1080. Leave that. I don't even know what that is. Uh, rate control. Make sure it's CBR bit rate. Now I record at 40,000 bit rate because um, I've got a pretty decent PC. If your PC isn't as good, try lowering it a bit because otherwise you may lag if you're recording games or anything like that. You may notice some lag in your video or in your game. Uh, yeah, so just lower that down maybe to uh, 20,000 or 10,000, you know, depending on your PC and how good or bad it is. So you can just like experiment with that a bit, change it up, and yeah, just keep changing it until it's good for you. So yeah, 40,000, everything else you just leave on default, so it's zero, default, main, auto. Make sure you have used two pass encoding on, so that just means when it's encoding the video, that uh, goes through two times just to make sure the quality is right. And yeah, once you've done all that, make sure you hit apply. And don't press OK, that'll get rid of this. So just hit apply and up to audio. Now you're going to want to change your audio bitrate to 320. So that's the best one. So just click that. I can't do it at the moment. Like I said, I'm recording. But click that, go all the way down, 320. And that's all we're going to do for this. And then hit over, like press apply, hit over to audio. Now you're going to have to find your sample rate of your mic. And you can also always change this. So mine's 48 and I can show you all how to do this. So pretty much just go down here, your speakers, right click and press recording devices and then find your microphone. So mine's the blue snowball. So when you're speaking, you'll be able to see here, it's going up when I talk. So just click on that, press properties, advanced, and then it'll be here. So it'll most likely be on 44, 100. Um, I've changed mine to 4,800 or 48,000 I mean. So change your to that if you want, or whatever it is, just keep it on that. Hit OK. OK, get out of that. And sample rate, change it to whatever it was. So if yours is 44, 44,100, change it to this. Otherwise, put it up to 48,000. All right, channel stereo. You want to leave your desktop audio. Um, I leave mine on default. You can change it to your speakers if you have speakers or headphones or something anything like that you can just change it to your preferred option but personally I just use default um, I've only got one desktop audio device so yeah just keep mine disabled and the mic audio like audio device change that to your microphone so mine's a blue snowball click on that everything else just leave the same all of this just keep that hit apply and then it would probably say for you to restart OBS to do this, so just press apply, OK, hit exit and open it up again, come back in settings. Right, once you've done that, we'll head down to video, and I can't change any of this at the moment, as you can see, I'm recording. So just make sure you have 920 by 1080, 1080, 
downscale filter, make sure you change that because I think it's on 16 samples. So just click on that and go down to 32 and the FPS will be automatically set to 30. Just click on that arrow, go down to 60, select that, hit apply. Okay, and then hotkeys. Um, all I use is start and stop recording. So what you do to do that is just click on it and put whatever what like what key you want. So to start recording, I just press F8, starts recording. When I want to stop, press F8, F8 again. And yeah, um, yeah, I don't really change any of this stuff. You guys can do that if you want. So anyway, we'll head over to the next thing, which is advanced. Now process priority. It'll be on normal, change that to above normal. And a renderer, Direct 3D 11, um, that's if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. If you have AMD, let's just keep it on whatever it is default. Um, color format, NV12. YUV color space, make that 709. And the color range, change that to full. And then for everything else in here, just keep that on the default. Hit apply. Okay. Alright, so that does it for all the settings in recording and stuff. And now I'm going to show you how to get rid of background noise like without using Audacity or anything, just using OBS. And that is here. But first, I'll show you a clip of me, a like, recording I took without the filter and then with it. Alright, I'll just go quiet so you can hear this recording. Alright guys, this is just a test of my mic with no filters on. So this is just, yeah, no filters on OBS and this is all the background noise you can hear. Yeah, so as you guys can hear, it's pretty prominent background noise there. You can hear it quite a lot. And to get rid of this, I'll show you in one second. But once you put the filters on, that's what right, it sounds guys, like. This is just a test of the mic with the filters on. And I'll just go quiet for a sec so you can hear the lack of the background noise with these filters on. So you can hear there, there's like literally no background noise or very, very minimal. Um, and to do this, you go to mixer here and say mic slash aux, click on the settings and filters. And it will come up with this, you guys won't have anything here. Um, but what you're going to do, what you want to do is right click, add, add noise gate and noise suppression. Since I've already got it, I can't do it again. But on noise gate. Oh, sorry, I'll do noise suppression first. It'll be minus 30, just grab the slider, put it all the way to the left, minus 60. That's literally all you do for that. And noise gate, change close threshold to minus 46, and open threshold to 32. Then press close. Alrighty guys, that does it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys. Um, I thought I'd just make this since it's pretty daunting to be honest when you go in the settings. And there's all that stuff there, you have no idea what to click on. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you did enjoy the video, do remember to hit the like button. And also subscribe if you guys do enjoy videos like this one. And also leave a comment on whether this helps you or not. And what I can do to improve on my videos in the future. So anyway guys, I'll see you all in the next video. And have a nice day. See ya.